guys, Cindy Otto here with my Artsy Endeavors. Um, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get two puzzle pieces done today. So we're doing our pick and choose five, which is puzzle. So let me, uh, these cards drive me crazy. Let me get these cards out of here. And I, like I said, I am going to do two. Um, I don't want to drag this series out any longer than I have to. So let me just get the cards real quick. I'll get them shuffled a little bit. Um, gosh, all I know is what we're going to pick today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the five for each card, and then we'll work through them. So let's start out with, I'm going to split this deck. All right, so let's start out. Here's one, two, three, four, five. How's that? All right, so there's five for that. We'll see what they are in a minute. And then we're going to pick five for this one. So this is for this one. So one, I don't know, two, three, four, five. Right? Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we got our cards. Oh, this should be interesting, huh? I've actually been enjoying doing these because they're just, it's different. Something different. And I can't wait to see what they look like all together. All right, so this one we are going to do. And here's what we have. Use newspaper or music paper. Finger paint or paint with a sponge. Use circles or stars. Some of these I've seen before. Uh, use washi tape or paper strips. And use archival ink or distress ink. Huh. So that's going to be this one. I gotta think about that. And the second one, we've got use masking tape or washi, draw with a non-dominant hand, or close my eyes and draw. Oh, that's gonna be exciting for both of those. Start a page with two eyes, or start the page with two legs. Um, use jelly prints or scrapbook paper, and use fabric or ribbon. Wow, this one's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna do this one first. So let's set this one aside. And I am, because I'm doing both of these, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through these. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, and we're going to get this done. Let's go.
guys, so let's start with this one first. This is the completed second one. Um, this one I made more simple, and I, I, I really like it. I really like it. So how I did them was I did paint with a sponge first. Then I used music paper. I used some washi. I used archival link. And then I used circles. Well, what I ended up doing is just doing more of the archival ink in the circle stamp. And then just working with some gel pens on top of that. So there is this one. The other one, so here it is. Um, this one here, this was more challenging. Uh, let's see, what did I do on this one? It said to start with two eyes or two legs. Well, I had these two legs, <laughs> I had this set of legs. So, why not? And you know, I still don't like it. It's something about it is just not right. So while I'm talking, we're just going to sit here and do this. I might come back in and doodle this a little bit because, you know, I just, something about it I don't like right now. So I'm going to work on that a little bit more. Um, so it said start with two legs or two eyes. Now it said to start the page, but I had a really a problem because I didn't want to just stick the legs on. I did it first, but I didn't like it. So I took them off. I put down a jelly print, which was my second one. So I did the, the legs and the jelly print, and then I used some washi tape. Did I use washi tape? Yes, I did. I used some washi tape, and then it said draw with non-dominant hand or close your eyes and draw. Well, I wasn't going to close my eyes, so I did it with my non-dominant hand. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, that's as far as it's going to get, is circles. <laughs> um, and then it said use fabric or ribbon. Well, I already had a piece of ribbon sitting here on my desk, and I said, well, why not use it? So I made this little bow. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed these. I am getting really excited. I realize I don't have that many done yet, but I'm really excited about putting these together and seeing what they look like. So that's going to be a really fun project at the end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I really, um, I wish you get a puzzle and play along because it's just going to be a lot of fun. All right, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.